contact me at timscomputerfix.net to find out how you can ship me your laptop for repair. Hey guys, Tim here again, timscomputerfix.net. Got a very interesting digitizer problem on this Acer Aspire 5600U. And already you can notice here that the screen is jumping around. This is a touch screen all-in-one model. And you may be wondering or asking, well, what seems to be the issue? Well, everything looks good with this digitizer until you get to this corner here. And you can see phantom touches going on. And then you can start to notice some cracks here. So obviously, you see it better there. Obviously something impacted this, unfortunately, right here. And this whole entire front glass is the digitizer to this screen. There is a panel that sits behind that, and that panel is just fine. Unfortunately, online or anywhere at the date of this video, I cannot find digitizers anywhere for this all-in-one computer. And I do believe Acer even said that they have discontinued making parts for this model for whatever that means. Anyway, the idea now, and the customer has agreed, I am going to go into this computer and we are going to pretty much just pull the ribbon cables that go from the digitizer to the main board unit. And the theory is, is that will just completely disable touch altogether and they can use the computer with just the mouse and keyboard and don't have to worry about touch because it's still a decent little decent little computer with a good panel on it okay so this is the back side of that of this unit and this is the little kickstand that is used to have the computer stand up um, basically uh, this back cover comes off not really sure, but I'm seeing some screws. I'm seeing some screws on this side, back side here, along with some USB ports and all the other I.O. stuff. And then there's some more screws under here, a few. But uh, this, this, I do believe, in order for this to clear everything, that this, I'm not sure how this stand comes off or even if it does, but I know that this cover here needs to come off so that's what we're going to work on first. And I'm not sure really, I'm, um, I feel confident that it just maybe just like snaps on there or something. We're going to see what we can do to get this unsnapped. If my, if my assumptions are correct here. Yeah, it looks like it's going to pop off. I think so, yeah. Okay, yep, and that's just what I thought. The cover snaps come off of the kickstand assembly here, and that exposes uh, four screws, which we'll go ahead and take out. Four screws here. So that clears our kickstand. Okay, right here uh, we have uh, two, three, four, five, six screws here. That's off camera, but along the bottom here we have six screws. We have another one right down here, off camera a bit. Okay. 
Okay, they're all looking the same size so far. That's good. So we'll come over here to the last visible screw that I see. Take it off here. Let's see what we got. I'm not sure if all of this needed to be taken off or not. I don't know. We're just kind of doing this on the fly here. Yeah, so basically what we're looking at here, I've got it laid down flat. I've also got some cushion underneath it so we don't scratch the glass anymore than what it already is. So once these screws are out, it looks like we can just pull back on this cover, just like so, and see if we can lift that off. And there's pretty much the motherboard. And all of its components. Hard drive looks standard, so it looks like that's upgradable. That's good. RAM. And we're trying to look for where this is. And we're trying to look for where the digitizer plugs into the board. We're looking for like a digitizer ribbon cable, like on other computers. Um, okay. So basically I've zoomed in nice and tight here, but on the motherboard, and I'll back out here in a minute and show you exactly where this is. You can see, thank goodness, was kind enough to have these connectors on the motherboard labeled. There's one here called Touch, and it has this cable marking on it for your reference if you need that but basically what we're going to do and let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit so I can show you exactly where this is it's going to get a little blurry at first but as I back out you'll see where this is on the board and you can see where that connector is it's okay to write here on this board and it's labeled touch. So we're just going to go ahead, if I can try to get back in here close enough for you guys to see, we're just going to go ahead and pull that connector carefully. Let's see. Okay. So our touch What's labeled as touch connector is now unplugged. I'm going to go ahead and put our kickstand back on here with the cover off. I'll just put the kickstand back on here so I can stand it back up and uh, fire it up and see if that cleared up our little problem. Okay guys, I've got it propped back up here. As you can see, the back's still off. I'm just testing to be sure that I did indeed pull the correct cable. We're about to get back up to the login screen again that we opened the video up with. We'll see if things are jumping around now or not. We have video so that's a good thing. Okay and here is our login and as you can see it is not jumping around and those phantom touches are not going on anymore and there's no response here at all so the correct cable was pulled what i'm going to do now is put this back together and we're going to test this again with a keyboard matter of fact let's just do that now so we've got a keyboard here we're just going to go ahead and test test to be sure that Things are going to operate correctly. Keyboard is ready. Let's just hit a key here on the keyboard. So we're in good shape, man. Okay, now that we've confirmed that uh, the, everything works as we want to, minus the minus the digitizer, minus the touch. Go ahead and just remove this kickstand again. Okay now we'll go ahead and just put our 
slide our cover back on. Put all of our screws back on that, that we took out. And now that we've secured everything here, we can put our kickstand back on for the, and then we'll put the cover on that. Okay, that snaps on like that. And there we go. We have successfully disabled touch functionality on this Acer Aspire 5600U all-in-one computer. Hey, I hope this helps somebody out. Please rate and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. More computer repairs coming your way. You can find me over at timscomputerfix.net. So until next time, everyone, see you soon.